Hi, I'm Jason Hansma, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this YouTube lesson, we're going to be learning the rhythm guitar part for Ren Collective's My Lighthouse. This is a real fun song. It's got some real energetic picking as well as some strumming. Um, there's only a few chords, but the guitar is actually uh, in an alternate tuning, and it's not very different, but basically it just tunes the D string down to a C note. So in order to do that, through the chords that way. So just be aware of that. If you want the full lesson with the full acoustic and electric guitar parts, head over to worshipartistry.com, sign up for a free account. You can have access to our 250 song library as well as lifetime access to our 101 lessons, which kind of take you from the very beginning of guitar all the way up to uh, playing songs. All right, let's get on with the lesson. Our rhythm's a little tricky on this song. You could either finger pick this or use a pick. It sounds to me on the recording like he's using a guitar pick. And the pattern is what really tipped me off to the alternate tuning, knowing that that D string is tuned down to a C. Just because you're hearing two individual notes ring out with the same note. And so we'll start with the C chord. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce. We're gonna go A, I'm gonna call this a D even though it's tuned down to a C. We're gonna go A, D, A, we're gonna pluck up on the B and then come back to that D string, which is a C, right? So down, 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 up, down. Like so. Now every once in a while he throws this little riff in there where he just, he did the same picking pattern. But he puts his middle finger on the second fret of the D string and pulls off. Like so. And then you just keep that pattern going for all the chord changes, making sure that you're hitting the root note of the chord. So example, for example, our, our verse would go like this. F, C, G. See, so we're always just changing that first bass note, but everything else stays the same. So what I did down below is I actually gave you a loop just of that C chord varying between the So, and you just kind of go back and forth between that just to really get the feel. I will give you a tab of the whole uh, verse though, that, that verse chord progression so you make sure that you're hitting the right, uh, the right bass notes. There's also a strum pattern, which is real simple. You've probably done that one before. It's a 16th note pattern. We're going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. down, down. A lot faster than that. Keep it real high energy. If you want on your first two downs, you can focus on those lower strings and then do the higher ones on the higher strings like so. Um, so I have a loop of that strum pattern down below as well. Give that a shot and let's take a look at the walkthrough. 